we've eaten and we're getting out of here. Eh. Eh. Unlock. Yee! Raining today. But what else can you expect? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rainy today, but I mean it's January. What else do you want? It's Oregon. <laughs> I want sun. You guys, we just ate some very, very, very high class, grade A, top of the line, five star restaurant, McDoubles and McChickens, yeah. and we're leaving because we got the stuff <clears throat> that we need to do what we're about to do, which is a catching cook attempt. I want to say attempt, you know, disclaimer. I don't want to guarantee catch but I can guarantee that if we catch we will cook is that a, can I can guarantee that yes okay what are we catching though well it depends really on um, how you want to pronounce the word yeah because there's different there's different different people call them different things yeah, it depends on, on where you're from really uh, in the so south in the south from? I'm from the Northwest so I grew up calling them crawdads uh, in the south, in southern states, they call them crawfish, mud, what is it, mud, mud crab, mud, I don't know, I can't remember I all of the terms. Pretty much freshwater lobster. We've been doing a lot of crabbing, going to the coast, but that's fun and everything, but <clears throat> my wallet don't like me for it because it's kind of, it's kind of distance, 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 far distantial. Away. It's far away. We're deciding to do the same idea. Just keep it inland, keep it inshore, not that far. We're going to a place not too far from my man Troy here's house. So we're gonna drop a pot in, a crab, no, not a crab pot, like a crawdad trap, crawdad trap. We just got back from Safeway. We're gonna be putting some uh, hot dogs. Hot dogs. Bacon. And bacon, and then did I get some Yes, you got, a, you got canned chicken breast canned as well. Chicken, yeah. We're just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in there, let the pot soak for a while in this creek dip out for a couple hours, do some fishing, hopefully. Come back and pick it up and see what we got. And if we got anything, we're gonna go back to this guy's house and do some cooking. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Premium jumbo cleaners. <laughs> some bacon in the mesh bag. He's turning up some weenies. It's all going in the pot. Pot's going in the creek. Crowd as it going in the pot, in that order. And then let's grab that, I'll grab that rope and off we go. All right, sounds good. Oh wow. Yeah, there's a river right here. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! Woo, got some wet toes for that one. Little, holy sh Our little creek it's moving. If I remember right, this right here is where that yeah. dam wall is, and then right over here's the hole. Yep, there's gotta be. All right, here we go, guys. It just took off. I mean, it's gotta be on the bottom. Oh, it's just taking mine. It's on the bottom. Look, it's down there. So the time right now is 11.39 a.m. and it is in the creek. Oh yeah. That's not going nowhere. Nope. Tight lines. So dude, legit. Come back and check it. Midday update. Just trap, try that trap in the creek. Creek was rushing, creek was ripping. We're gonna leave that there for a couple hours. Go dink around, maybe throw some baits. I don't know. Try to stay as dry as we can. But so far that's proven to be impossible. But we're gonna keep trying. <laughs> stay tuned. What's up, baby? All right, bye, I love you. Really? Really? Really had a hit? Oh, there's one. Fish on. Fish on, bro. Come on, baby. 
gonna be the gonna be the first one of 2019. Can it be the first one of 2019, baby? It is the first one of 2019. Get your booty over here, son. Yeah. Ah. Oh, does that feel good? Oh, he is cold. Uh, here, feel him. Oh wow, he's cold. Oh, crap. Out here with Boneyard Bassin. There's Boneyard. Here's Bassin. <laughs> First fish, 28, 2019. There he goes. There he goes. Yes. Dude, that was literally, literally my first cast with this right here. This green, weird, speckled colored Senko. He bent the shit out of my hook. Holy cow, look at it. <laughs> I added a little, a little split shot right there to help it sink down a little faster. Just Texas rigged, just like that. Just like that. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. First pass of 2019, how's it feel? Feels good, feels exquisite, to be honest. That's my first January bass, you know that? Ever? Ever. Last time my first one last year was in February. Wow. <laughs> I forgot we had a crab, or a <laughs> crawdad <Crab>. trap. <laughs> I was wondering, I was thinking, wondering how it's doing. There's a police. What's up, baby? What are you talking about? Why not? Fish. 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 Hang on, baby. Hang on. Here. Here's Troy. Hello. Uh, hello. Fish. Oh! Fish number two. Tell her I'll call her back. In two minutes. Uh, okay. Yes. On the side. Shout outs to my wife <laughs> for helping me out with that one. <laughs> Fish number two. January. Bassin. Peace out, Holmes. That's the first time that's happened. I mean. Hey, sorry, babe. Well, babe, you're calling me when I'm fishing. I can't, I was casted out. What do you want me to do, you know? Well, I don't know what you, okay, I mean, I, all right, bye. She's like, that was kind of rude. I'm like, sorry. <laughs> you're calling me when I'm fishing. What, you ready to throw in the towel or what? Want to go check the trap? Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Sounds good to me. Midday. Well, did I already do a midday update? I don't know. Another update. Went fishing. It was pretty cool. I got a couple bass. First bass 2019. First bass ever in January. And I got two of them. So I am. I'm a little chubbed up about that. We're about to go check the pots. The trap. Damn, I keep calling them pots. That's how much I go crabbing. Or how much I like crabbing. But we left the crawdad trap soaking for a couple hours by now. So we're going to go pull up back to that creek and see if we caught anything let's go made it let's go check that bitch. moment of truth guys we've made it back to the creek where we left the trap soaking how you feeling sir thoughts concerns Honestly, i'm kind of confident i feel like that that hole down there is not going to be as crazy amount of current as the top of the water is mm -hmm. so that i think they're all going to be a lot down there in there in that hole so all right well let's see let's go Untie it from where we tied it off. Momento of truth, Odo. Does it feel heavier then? And one, one, <laughs> two, two. We got two, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Where's that? Is that a fish? There's a fish in there too. Yeah, dude. Yeah, there's, there's a, a mudskip. There's a sculpin, right? <laughs> yeah. Good freaking deal. That's a fatty. Yeah, that's a big one. Are we cooking them? Fuck yeah. Dude, hell yeah. Honestly, that's tight. Like, what? Dude, awesome. Well, my trap works. <laughs> that fish. That sculpin or whatever it is. Yeah. I feel bad for bringing them. Well, we can take them out. Here he is. Here he is. I got him. Dude, I used to catch a lot of these, like, on accident. <laughs> catch and release. Sculpin. 
Peace out, homie. Yeah, dude. Right ahead. Whatever, everybody. We made it back here to the Boneyard Bachelor Studios. Uh, we pulled up the trap. Two credits in that fell victim to the concoction that we had with a uh, bacon, chicken, hot dog. It was just all kind of disgusting stuff in there, but stuff that crowded find yummy. Yeah, let's dive right into it and see what this guy has prepared. Because this time we're cooking it his way. When we were at the jetty, we cooked the crab up my way. He said, if we get something, we're cooking it up my way. And I think it, we're going to do something with this stuff right here. Back on. I don't know. Stay tuned though. So first I'm going to cut up some lime here. And just take the ends off real quick and then just slice so those in. Next is, I guess we'll do the onion next. Onion? No it's not. That's Dracula. Or Count, Count, Chocula. Chocula, Chocula, something like that. Uh -huh. I think you're right. It is Dracula. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Is it the crab? Uh, they got pink people. Some minced garlic here. This whole pack of bacon here, real quick. I'm just going to cut it in half. Oh, if it'll let me. This is not the right kind of knife. Oh, all right, close enough. That's a trap. Yo, sir. Are you 21? So in here, so far we've got chopped uh, onion, some lemon sliced, minced garlic, and bacon. You know, the funny part is <clears throat> there's more meat in that pot then we're putting yeah <laughs> that's true sauce hey, oh hey, a, a little dipping cup throw some of this in there with it water some of this in that bowl with some minced garlic salted buddha so do you just toss them in live that's the uh that's the way i was taught yeah so do them live it's the only it's the only way Sorry for you guys, but well, we have to boil it first, right? Before yeah, we have to get it going. Uh, so we've added water and a half a thing of salted butter to the mix, and now some what is that? Pepper? Some pepper, a little bit of Southwest uh, Chipotle salt-free mist dash, and then this will be later. This is optional. That's optional. Love it. Yeah, it's gonna. It's gonna Alright, so our pot's pretty boiling. So, we only caught two crawdads in the creek today, but we decided what the hell we're gonna do it anyways just to create content. And to be honest, I've never tried crawdads before in my life, so I'm kind of excited to see what this is about. So, without further ado, let's cook these crawdads up, baby. Oh, kind of nervous. I want the big one, right? Obviously. Here he goes. Are you rolling? Yeah. All right, guys. Here it is. Card at number one. Into the pot of destiny. All right, let's grab number two. There's a little, there's a little smaller one, but he'll be just fine. Whoa, 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 whoa! He little, whoa! He little DJI spark, bro. Open the lid. Ready? Damn, baby! <laughs> Spoon, crawdad, yeah, transporter. Pull that plug. Okay, so both crawdads in the pot, Heck yeah, dude. getting cooked. 
they've gotten catched, <laughs> they've gotten caught, wow. and now they're getting cooked. Let me see. Bring them up. Oh yeah, dude. Mmm. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and throw this in the microwave. Butter and garlic. Yep. Hashtag five minutes. Oh wow, I like the smell of that. About 30 seconds, a little bit of salted butter with some minced garlic, that's the dip. So here we have them, all cooked up, ready to be not just eaten but devoured, okay? I guess the question of the day, Troy, I ask you is, you want the big one or the little one? I'll take the little one. Sorry. And we got some dipping sauce, which is just literally just some butter mixed with garlic in the microwave for 30 seconds. So here we go. You have to explain to me what you're doing because I don't know what you're doing right there. God, it looks terrible, but I guess you're supposed to break off the tail. So there's a little line there. I guess that's supposed to go when you start. Breaking the ribs off. Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to happen. You got this little thing here. <laughs> you don't like that? Uh, I don't know. I just was seeing that people usually take that out. So, little crawfish tail. Let's go ahead and give it a try here. Dip it in the butter. Here we go, guys. Actually, that's not bad. No way. Yeah, yeah. What? I could do that. It's It does taste just a little fishy, but I would say all in all, that's not bad at all. Never have I ever <laughs> had crawdad before. So I don't even know really how to, I know the meat is in here. We want to get the, the tail meat. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to push in a little bit, twist, and then pull it out. So push the tail in. Mm -hmm. All right. Twist it. Push in. Push in and then twist and then pull it out. Oh, I really suck at pulling out. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, that it went a little backwards, but. Okay. Well, that's cool. Though. Like. It's all right. Look at all that tail meat. Gosh, that's perfect. That's what I'm talking about right there. So you just pull it out and then look underneath. There should be a little. Little cock, little, little, line. little cock a line. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna you know gonna pull that out straight out. All right, same fork, but that's okay. Here goes the moment of truth. Crawdad swimming around this morning. He smelled some hot dogs and some other delicious stuff. Swam into the trap, pulled up the trap, and he had no chance. So, dip it in the secret sauce. And here we go. Dude! Hell yeah. For real? And these live by us? Like, we don't gotta go to the coast for this? Is that what Hell it's yeah. <laughs> Dude! Found it. This was a good idea, you guys. Troy, brilliant mastermind. Can you just tell us a little bit about what is in here? I know I did earlier, but I just wanna recap about this broth right here. Oh, we got bacon in it, mm -hmm. and we got some salt butter, mm -hmm. we have some onions, minced garlic, and sliced lemon. And with a little bit of water to make it all boil, right? Oh yeah. And that's it, we let it boil. Once it was boiling, toss them in, toss your crawdads in. And once you see them get this color, take them out so they can cool, put a little bit of butter, butter and minced garlic in the microwave for 30 seconds for the dip, and that's it. And that's all there is to it. Dude, we need more. <laughs> we need more. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that was good stuff. Was it? Thank you. You guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We're signing out. We're going to down some beers and clean up this mess that we made. Hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook slash largemouth bass slash crawdad virginity popping. It was all over the place, but I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit the ringy bell so you can be the first to see what's going on. 
Also, make sure you guys subscribe to this beautiful specimen. Do it. Draw it. Troy Boneyard Bassin on the YouTube. Doing it big time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, behave yourselves, tight lines, and take care. Peace out.